So as usual, uh, we have looked on Instagram for ideas on what to talk about on today's podcast. And we've decided to go with aliens today. Ollie, first question. Do you think aliens exist? No. What? No. Bullshit. What, you, you 100% think they don't exist? I'm going to say no. I don't think they're about. I think they're, uh, you're chirping with them. So, okay, if they don't exist, why do we have Area 51? I think it's cooler than Area 52. I don't know. I just think aliens, there's no doubt in my mind that they exist. There's like 3,000 planets out there. What makes you think? What makes you think, yeah? There's only one that sustains life. That we know of, that they've actually told us. The thing is, the government or the newspapers do not talk about aliens enough. Yeah? Yeah, because it's hard to talk about something that doesn't exist. No, they don't want you to know about it. That's what it is. The mainstream media have cut it out. That's what they're doing. The mainstream it's, media. That That is why I think they definitely exist, because they've just completely been black, well, uh, blacklisted by the government and the media. Yeah, They don't want to scare us. I actually think there's, human, uh, there's aliens on this earth right now. Go on, then. So you, what? Say that again. And I actually think there's aliens on this earth right now. 100%. Go on, then. What is your example, then, of an alien on this earth? Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Even. Elon Musk. But anyway, no, not him. I in area. 51, Elon Musk might be. In Area 51, there is definitely aliens. 100%. You hear about it all Go the time. On, They've made films like? about it. They've made films about it. It's on, like, it's always leaked on the... They've made films Facebook about Facebook Batman, website. mate. Yeah, Batman's not real. It's a good point, but <laughs> there's not Batman document documentaries on Netflix. There's alien documentaries. What's this? there's documentaries and all sorts of bullshit on Netflix? I don't know, but yeah, there's definitely aliens that exist on this planet right now that we don't know about. Hundred percent at Area Fifty One. And if there wasn't, What's, you, they wouldn't have it. Or what do you think is Area 51 then? What do you think is there? If it's not aliens? Just a lot of bullshit, I think. I think I don't think there'll be that much there. I think it'll just be going. A few bits of rocks, maybe. <laughs> rocks. Oh, what's so he said? It's an army base. Oh, it'll be an army base, yeah. But I think they'll store stuff there. But I don't think... They're obviously not going to have people working off it and stuff, really. Or are we based? Do you think it's on Google Maps? Let me have a look. Let me see if it's on Google Maps. See what it looks like. Did you see that thing? Was it the first lockdown stuff? People bar or it might have been before that even. People barged into Area 51, didn't they? Oh, they were having that Area 51 reveal party where like hundreds of yeah. thousands of people were gonna go, weren't they? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they would have showed up. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, Alien 51 is on Google. Look at that. They've got like massive, uh, oh, I'll just get it into focus, but massive like runways and everything like that. You're not, yeah, terrible. I know. So it's obviously going to have runways and things. I don't, to be I, honest, I don't think UFOs need a runway. I think they're pretty just, they hover up and down. I don't think that is actually what it looks like, though. I reckon that's fake. I yeah. Don't, but, I don't, I'm not. I'm not educated on Area 51. To be fair. So, what would you think then? How do you think? So, say you're right. Aliens are real. How are you meeting them? What are you saying? Who well, meets them first? I think we've spoke to them every day so far. <laughs> I literally think they're among us. Uh, I think if you're an alien as well, you don't want to show off you're an alien. I don't think it would be anyone like Beyonce or. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne or something like that. I don't think it would be one of them master people. I think it would be... Yeah, Beyonce typical... and Kevin De Bruyne are on the same level of popularity. Oh, they're massive. They're massive. All I'm saying is I think if I was an alien... I wouldn't I be would... ginger. I agree. I would not be ginger yeah. if I could pick how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> if I, yeah, if I was an alien, I would just want to blend in, get my job done. I'm not... Yeah, I would 
probably be an Amazon delivery driver, for example, or a fishmonger. I would make sure I've got a normal job where I just learn about the human race as much as possible to feed it back to my spaceships and just get on with life. So you've got more than one spaceship? I'd want to blend into the crowd and do my part for the community. Not like, uh, yeah, I don't think I can say that. But yeah. But then, I'm... what's the difference between spies? That, so so are all alien spies that are on the planet at the minute? No, I don't think all aliens are spies. Uh, well, then why are they here? They're obviously trying to learn about us. Like, well, so they're spying. <laughs> Yeah, but for us, every day is a learning day. I'm sure it's the same for them. Right. I do not want aliens if they don't end up like Superman. You know, I want to find a baby crashed in the middle of a farm and I want to pick him up and take him. Yeah. I want a super baby. A super baby. I don't want this little green fucker walking around and chatting and you're like, ooh, get away, mate. You you honk a bit. I I don't want that. I want... I want powers. What kind of powers? What you want powers for yourself? You want powers for your baby? I think a bit of both. A bit of both. What power would you actually have if you wanted it yourself? Then. It's a hard question. I think. What is it? The Earth is seventy percent water. I just want to be Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. Yes, what, just Aquaman. Just... Make me Aquaman. Although. I would like to manipulate water through water kinesis, like Mira, you know. Like who? Mira, Aquaman's missus. I don't know who that is. But... Wait, so basically she walks around like this green cat suit. And she just, she's nice and redhead, you know, she's, got, she's powerful. She is the perfect chick for Aquaman, you know. And I want a Mira by my side. So I don't know, much about, super... I don't know much about superheroes. but Or anything Aquaman. for that matter. Aquaman can go underwater for as long as he wants in a row, I'm guessing. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you still live in England if you're Aquaman? Well, no, I'd live under the sea in Atlantis where he rules. Because he's like, in some versions, he's the king of Atlantis. Yeah. So I think... But then, do you think things like Isn't that... Isn't that Neptune, though? Isn't that Neptune, the king of Atlantis? Well, no, it's... Aquaman, so Neptune, the god of water. But I, I do think so. But how would you class something as alien? Because would you class if you saw Aquaman as alien? Yeah. By an Atlantean mother. Oh my god, we're frozen. Sorry, we froze there. Blimey. Um, just saying so Aquaman yeah he is human father Atlantean mother is he alien to you what does Atlantean mother mean they live in Atlanta yeah she's Atlanta she was the queen of Atlanta anyway yes yes it's alien you can't know it's alien yeah 100% 100% yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think we've gone slightly off the topic here. Let me go to the next question that one of our viewers sent in. Uh, okay. So you're saying you don't believe in aliens? Yeah, I'm not feeling aliens. Okay. So this guy at Toby187 has said, What do you think is one piece of technology that aliens are responsible for? So I but think. You you don't believe in aliens, but if you thought there's any bit of technology that's out there that I'm... you think, how has the world come up with that? How have people come up with that? What do you think that is? What interest in the old pyramids? Pyramids. Oh, that's massive conspiracy theories about them, isn't there? Yeah, huge the aliens here. And I'm quite interested in that. And the way their gods worked and things were quite... And just their theories and beliefs were so almost alien as a human to see. So well, not see firsthand. What was special about the pyramids then? What, why can not a human make them? Why can the slaves make them? A human? Yes, a human. <laughs> I think it would have taken so long, and they had one for every single pharaoh, didn't they? They built one, pretty much. The yeah. thing, 
if you were doing that, so they'd have to get the, I think it, you have to get the stones or whatever, and then you'd have to ride them up the Nile. Then you'd have to create mudslides to lift the stones high enough because they didn't have cranes or anything and they were too heavy to lift. So you'd have to drag them up these. I think it would take into, I think there was something weird about it that we don't know. So is this you admitting that you think aliens exist then? I'm not going to go that far, but I'm saying something's odd there. Something's peculiar. I think they just had like wooden cranes and stuff like that. I think they just made them out of wood and rope. That's what I'm thinking. But technology wise, I think, I literally think that, I don't know what I think actually. <laughs> When in so confident. Well, I think. I think I'll cut this bit out. <laughs> no, no. I'll tell you, I'd. Um, aliens, how. Say we've got aliens then. Do you think they'd attack? No, I think they're too clever too. I think they're just building and building and slowly they'll just take over. Well, you think, think full takeover? Yeah, I think they're just making themselves look like humans. And it's going in with uh, ordinary day end job, key worker jobs, it's building their way up. And one day they're on the front lines right now. Exactly, they're heroes. I think Boris Johnson. Where was he born? His haircut's very alien. So I think that prime they could work their way up to high level jobs, or I already think they're working with the U.S. government. I already think that there's aliens in contact with the US government at the Pentagon. Where, what makes you believe that? I just, I just think, like, we'd be naive not to think it. And <laughs> if any, there's definitely been a massive cover-up at some point. And I think if anyone, it's going to be the US that's going to cover up. They are good at Botox, to be fair. Sorry? I know, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Missed the mark with that one. Yeah. Uh, should I go for another question? No, no. Don't think we need any more. Go on, then. So aliens are inaugur inaugurated into our society. We don't even notice them. Yeah. Do you think you've ever had like relations with an alien then? Do you think what what do you think would show you an alien is an alien? If they're in our society. Well, that's the thing. No one knows what an alien looks like. Like apart from the people at Area 51. And you know what the conspiracy theory is? You know, I you don't see fucking the, know. <laughs> you know you see the typical uh, alien like this little grey man with a big head. Yeah. That that is one that they had. They found fifty years ago, sixty years ago, and they just didn't want to tell everyone at the same time because it caused mass panic. So what they did is they literally they released the movie Paul. Yes, they released the movie Paul, and they just edged it out, put it on lunch boxes, put it on T-shirts, just put it in the old movie to make people less scared of when they actually happen and when they actually release it in five or so years' time. Back to Paul. Is that part of the Cornetto? movies no you think that's his own thing hot fuzz sean and the dead the world's end they're my that's your ranking i don't know I, yeah. I think yeah, sean and the dead's in, better than hot fuzz i just loved hot fuzz that was my favorite film as a child i used to love that film just like the way that that woman fell off a bicycle when they opened that car door and stuff like that it's fantastic but sean and the dead is great Short of the Dead's better than Hot Fuzz. I think Hot Fuzz is a bit bland. I used to be into police when I was younger. I wanted to be a police officer. I think that's why I liked it so much. What kind of police officer would you have been? To start off with, I wanted to be uh, CID. Yeah. Uh, because they got to wear like plain clothes uniform on the bill. And that's what I thought it would be quite cool, just going around nicking people in an unmarked police car. And actually, not think should we just go on the bill? Yeah, I, I'm just too shy to be an actor. 
I just wouldn't want to be on there. But then I wanted to move on to forensic science because I thought that was quite interesting after watching Dexter. Have you watched Dexter before? No. So Dex is a serial killer who is a blood splatter detective in Miami. So he does all the blood splatter work to work out how people got killed and what angles and stuff like that. And what he does is he kills the people that the police don't catch or he thinks that are too bad to go into the prison system. So what he does is he tracks them all down, everything like that. He puts out plastic sheets somewhere. He lures them to that uh, location. He kills them and he dumps them in the sea on his boat. Just sounds a bit like BDSM gone wrong. You know, plastic everywhere. Yeah, this, that's, this, why have, this that's why they have torture. plastic in BDSM. That is why they have plastic. Well, you don't want spunk on the sofa, mate. But it's celebrating. Yeah. Exactly. Go on then. Whatever. Aliens are around. Say they're green, but they've got... So, you know, like... Um, you've watched Avatar, haven't you? Or Guardians of the Galaxy. I've watched Avatar years ago, yeah. I haven't watched Guardians of the Galaxy. Say aliens look like the tear he does in that, the woman in it. Are you shagging an alien? Come yeah. on. Yeah. You are... No, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to be racist towards aliens. Like, I know people say that pansexuals are greedy and stuff like that, but I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Why would you not go for an alien that looks like that? Well, ALM, Aliens Lives Matter. Exactly. I don't think you can be discriminatory about one until you've actually been with one. I would get with an alien, yeah. Okay, so if you had to get with an alien, there was three yeah. aliens in front of you. One had one boob, one had two boobs, and one had three boobs. Which one would you get with? I think it depends how experimental I'm being. If I've been with this alien, if I've been with aliens before, I think I'm going to try something new. I'm going to go for the one or three. But if this is my first alien encounter, I want what I know. Yeah. See, I think I think perfect numbers two. I think three is just greedy. Three is just too greedy. Like I wouldn't have three quests. I think two is nice and symmetrical. You know, they're yeah. even out. They're. You're exactly right. I wouldn't have three bits of toast in the morning. I'd have two bits of toast. You have two bits of Weetabix. You have or two pairs of trousers, if, two socks. Like, you, never, you never pick three, do you? Like, no. I, like, if I'm feeling greedy and I'm going for a big fuck off bit of beans on toast, you know, I might toast four or I'll toast two. Never toast three. No, three boobs is just too much. I just. I think three, I don't like an odd number. And the good own. thing is with two boobs, I guess we've got two hands. Yeah, but two hands, one face. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That was Ollie's washing machine impression. Uh, the yeah, no, cow I, gone, though. I think, uh, yeah, definitely go for two boobs. What happens then? So you've got this alien lover of yours pregnant, yeah? Yeah. There's, so you know her hands, you know, abortion's a woman's choice. She's had the baby, let's say. What are you calling your What are you calling your alien son or daughter? Are you because they they're showing as an alien? You know they're they're blue or something here. Alex Tron. I think what? any normal name, but you just add Tron to the end. Max Tron, Olatron, Alex Tron. Then it Peloton. sounds like an alien. Peloton. <laughs> Maybe that's the alien invention. Or the treadmills and the bikes. Helping bored housewives become fitter. Aliens have done that. <laughs> I am. Um, I don't know. I don't. How do you think? So aliens are saying they're here. They've all come out. They're all. They say they've come. They're all blue and stuff. Why blue? How do you feel they're... Why do you think they're blue? I just want a blue lover, mate. I just want them blue. <laughs> blue. I want them to be. A different colour because then I think it's a bit boring otherwise. Okay, so you don't want them to fit in, you want them to be something exciting, something new. Yeah, so go for. yeah. There's a question for you then do you think there's different ethnicities of aliens? I think so, yeah. I think they'd have their own, I think, clans or tribes and things, or they'd have well, their I think own the cities. The perfect example of this is Star Wars 1. I know you've only made me watch the first three. But what's You're about a new hope here. 
Yeah. Is it a hand solo? Yeah. yeah hand when he solo. goes into that bar and he just walks in and there's like a hundred different types of aliens in that Mos one. Mos Eisley, yeah. I don't know. He's walked into Mos Eisley. So he's in nice Mos Eisley. He's having a time of his life. Nice and I think that just proves like... Think well, about Luke that Skywalker bit. walks in. Yeah, think about that a bit deeper. When he goes in there, he's the one that causes all the mess. All the other aliens Luke are getting on does, as happy yeah. as La- they're all getting on as happy as Larry. They're just like all diverse, all nice, inclusive to everyone. And then Han and Luke walk in, and they cause no. Mayhem. Han's already in. Han and Chewie are talking with Greedo, aren't they? I don't know, but yeah, they're causing mayhem, and everyone else is trying to have a nice time. So it just proves that humans are the dicks, really. Aliens are the good guys. But That's I don't think they're say. humans in Star Wars. There's not like they're not human. I think they're pretty human. Like Han Solo, at... he's Corellian. He's not from planet Earth. There is no planet Earth. I don't watch Star Wars enough then. They look like normal people, so I thought they were humans. Humans. Yeah. I'm not very good at saying that word. No, but yeah, I, I think go on. if aliens work like Star Wars work, so it is more you know, it's a bit of everything. Because I don't I don't want it to get so you got aliens here, but they all I'd like it a bit of everything mixed in. So you'd like you wouldn't just like one type of alien to come to this earth at one time. You'd want mass numbers of all different types. Yeah, I'd want a bit of everything. Bit of everything. Bit of everything. So pick a mix. That's what you're saying. I want to pick a mix. You want to dip and you want to dab in different things. Well, alien three way. Put your fingers in different holes. Mate, think of the first porno with aliens. How many views that fucker's gonna get? That's the thing. The whole story would be. Ma- I think I'd make the main news. I think you'd watch I that on live. Would. On you'd watch that on Channel Four. You would watch that. What live like on David Channel Attenborough 4. talking over the top of it? Oh, now, this I is the, the aliens in their natural habitat, fucking the I shit out of each other. I think David would be too inexperienced for that. I think he wouldn't know where to start. I think what? Noel Gallagher instead. No, no, I. Th- I just think you should have someone like Richard Awiwadi. Someone like him. Yeah, have a giggle whilst you watch your porn. Exactly. That's what I want to have. That's what I go in for. <laughs> a giggle. No, but I, I don't know. What about if it comes to a war then? The aliens have come. We've got loads of men, but they're hostile. What are we doing then? I think we'd make them hostile, if anything. What well, our actions really cause it? Yeah, people are dickheads. They just try and get do anything. Like this whole pandemic has proven people are dickheads. I think they'd come peacefully and we'd start a fight with them. But there'll be bad aliens and good aliens. Like there's bad people and good people. But then here's a question for you: If we were at war with the aliens, who would you send to negotiate them? Out of all the people in the world, who would you pick? Because, like, Boris Johnson can even do Brexit very well, so would you send him to go and talk to the aliens for a peace treaty? Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm not... Who, who am I going for? Actually, now I think about it. Like, you wouldn't send I... Boris or Donald, would you? No, no, not a world leader. No, no chance. I think I'd send Jared Leto. You know, he's alien enough as a person. He, I think he would relate. I don't know who he is. Oh, I'll think of another one then. Fine, no, fine. No, who is who is he? Is he a celebrity? He was in Suicide Squad. He was the Joker in that. Oh, he's the Joker. Okay. Well, in the Suicide Squad one, he's Blade Runner. Yeah, oh, I know who it is, yeah. Yeah, he'd probably do a good job. I'd probably send Tom Hanks. I think he's quite peaceful. Yeah. He'd be relaxed with him. Shows he looks Has like he met aliens before in Forrest Gump or whatever the movie. I don't watch that. No, he's been best friends with a volleyball, that's about it. And Castaway, was it Castaway? Yeah, Castaway, yeah. Wilson, little boy. To be fair, if you gotta make friends, you gotta make friends. It's hard. I haven't got any volleyball friends, so he's doing a better job than me. There you go, mate. There you go. And I'm just going to pause this here quickly just while I go and grab another drink. 
Så kan vi klare os lige to. Okay. Så, so, if you are the person that meets the aliens, how are you going about it? You are the first point of contact. So I've been selected by... I've gone. Go and see them. Max, can you come meet the aliens, be the first point of contact for them? I think I'd go in there almost... I'd walk in with a bit of swagger. You've gone with Conor McGregor. You've come in all, all guns blazing. Exactly. I wouldn't talk until I'm talked to. First thing I'd do, put out a hand for the old gangster handshakes, like do the old elbows to arms, pull down your arms yeah, yeah. into the hands. I'd wait for them to say the first word. I wouldn't I don't speak think, until I'm talked to. I don't think going in for contact's a good thing because you don't know where they're... Like, say, touch is how they get off. Think, you've just shagged an alien by accident there. We don't know everything about them. You've got to be careful with this. But I think it shows willingness to be friendly with them. Like, if I just stand offish and don't touch them at all. You literally like, just I'm said, saying, I'm going to wait till I'm spoke to. And now you don't want to seem standoffish. <laughs> yeah, because I think that shows, like, I'm being brave. Uh, but I think a handshake shows respect. And then if you wait for them to speak first, I think that shows that you're superior. I think you're going about it all wrong, mate. What would you do then? What would you do? So I've gone in, I'm meeting like Kevin. I'm like, all right, Kev. You know, I'm assuming we've got translators. We, we can speak. Yeah, let's assume they speak English, yeah. Yeah. I'd just shoot the shit. You know, I'd be... You've been reading Batman this week. You watched this new film yet? You know, I'd just shoot the shit for a bit. You know, make them feel friendly. So we got, you know, like Dennis Rodman has gone to North Korea and things. I'm yeah. going to be Earth Dennis Rodman. So you're going to literally just go there. I'm just going to shoot the shit with them. You know, go missing for ten days when you went to play in a basketball game, and just be <laughs> dancing every night. I'm going to. I'm just going to. Dennis Rodman was a weird boy, weren't he? I think that's who I'm going to grow up to be, Dennis Rodman. When I'm in my 40s, I want to be Dennis Rodman. He's definitely needs a Netflix documentary purely about him. The amount yeah. of stories also, he Also, if have. any human is an alien, any human is an alien, it is Dennis Rodman. Yeah? Is that what you're saying? What, because of the green hair? Not just the green hair, he's fucking nuts. He is a nutter, and I think that's why I love him. I just think he's amazing because he just does not give a shit about anything, does he? Like he went missing oh from the gosh, Bulls for like a, two just weeks. Just imagine meeting Dennis Rodman. That would be cool, but I don't Crikey. think you'd meet him just like walking down the street. I think you'd you'd have to impress him, and I think you'd meet him in a nightclub, and you'd have to do something to let him get you in his VIP area. You'd have to do four lines before you even said anything. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think you'd have to like punch some prick in the middle of the dance floor or something just to get his attention. There's no way he'd let any riffraff into his VIP area because we haven't got riff boobs. We have, well, I've got boobs, but not the kind of boobs he, he... To be fair, we don't know. But You have got three. Maybe he wants three. <laughs> he might want three. Yeah, definitely wants three. I just think if there are, which I'm not... I don't think there are. But how many world events have they been involved in? Yeah. So, Great Wall of China, do you think they built it? I don't think you'd choose to go to China, you know. I don't think you've got the whole world. Who the fuck goes to China? Biggest bit of land to land on. I don't feel like they need a massive landing strip, mate. And I guess... It depends how lazy they're feeling because I know like sometimes when I go somewhere I park up like where I need to go. I don't like do a park and ride or park around the corner of Tesco's and walk around. I try and get the closest parking space possible to what I need. So if they wanted something in China, I don't think they'd park in America for it. I think they'd literally park exactly where they want to go. Oh, I think they've got every right to. <laughs> yeah. I've just also you've you've come to Earth. 
Why the fuck do you build a wall? What's the point? Don't need a wall. What's going to hurt you? That could be part of their terms and conditions with the governments. The TNCs? Yeah. If you want to stay, you have to build a wall for us. Well, have you ever read the Apple terms and conditions? Maybe it's on about if we have aliens, they can build wherever they want. They can build walls in your back garden. I don't think anyone's ever read the terms and conditions of the Apple stuff. No, I don't think some of the stuff we must have agreed to. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. They probably own my soul by now. <laughs> not much of it, though. No, not left. Not since I've nicked it, the bastards. <laughs> I think... Aliens are just... How are you surviving an alien attack? Blend in. Do you think what, that's do you the way? Think, do you think they'd make slaves? Um, would it be more slaves or pets if we're, they're so superior? Exactly. Like, to be honest, I think dogs live a great lifestyle. I wouldn't mind being a dog. Like, if I get treated I like dogs, a dog, I'd be quite happy. You get fed, you get your sleep. You know, every now you do have to have your bollocks cut off, so that's a bit of a downside. Only sometimes. Yeah, son. Also, thing, if you're not Adam off, you are free to shag wherever, whoever is watching. And I think they still shag, they just don't come. They don't even have to, like, wear clothes. They don't have to go, oh, no. groggy swollen. The only time dogs wear clothes is when their owners are a bit of arseholes, really, aren't they? Or if it's Christmas. Yeah, like, it's Christmas. Like a Christmas jumper. Yeah. No one minds I think, Christmas. I think dogs have it good, mate. I think dogs have it good. And if they if aliens treat me like a dog, I say fine. Put me on a lead. I live for it, mate. <laughs> live for it. Back to BDSM. Yeah. No, I I don't know. If you got a dog though, what are you calling your dog right now? Billy. Billy. Oh, it's not bad, I'm actually not bad, named man. after a dog. My mum had a dog called Max and She's literally named me after her dog. So you're not only a second favourite child, you're a second favourite Max. <laughs> must be. I must be. I've never even met this Max, but I hear he's a bitch. I hear he's superior. Um, I think, though, with in terms of dogs and cats and things, like there's loads of people who have bought them recently, isn't there? Have you seen over lockdown? Yes, something to do, I guess, isn't it? But no end of people are getting rid of them now because they just don't want them. Like they're no. Oh, is it? Is it like at Christmas? A dog's not just for lockdown. <laughs> a dog's not. Sorry, you froze. Uh, and again, blimey! Go on, I try it again. Dogs aren't just for lockdown, like you say. <laughs> I feel like you didn't laugh that time because it was the third attempt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think dogs are a like I think they're all right if they get treated right, but imagine that just go don't fucking want you no more off you fuck. Yeah. Like I'd hate to be one of them dogs, like a bully dog, one that just goes around biting people. I wouldn't mind being a blind person's dog. I think they're well. They're well looked after. They're well trained. Think of all the fun you could have as well. You could just, you'd sit there and you just wag your tail against something and run around the other side of the room. Just get away with everything. Yeah. What are they going to do? Chase you down? I can't see here's you. A, here's a question, though. Who picks up uh, guide dog shit? I think they must pick it up themselves. What, with a little plastic bag? They get a little plastic bag out, they pick it up themselves. Maybe they wear a nappy. No, they don't wear a nappy. I don't know. Unless they have like a way to like, they like bark three times or something. To say. But then chat. this blind person is just rooting his hand around for shit. He can't see anything. I don't, He's I don't got know. shit up to his sleeve now. He's rolling around in it. I They're probably well enough trained to have a toilet at home, aren't they? Not like a toilet that humans sit on. A toilet tray like a litter tray almost yeah 
and I guess they just don't shit on the streets. Must they must be. be trained enough. That's that's one of like, we that's should my big question. If you've got the answer, let us know. I think dogs are just one of those things where they just you either get a good one or you get a bad. There's never a middle ground. You either love your dog or you think, fuck me, you're a dickhead. Yeah. What dog yeah. did you have you owned a dog that's a dickhead? No, but I've looked after a lot of dogs that are dickheads. But are their owners dickheads? Or is it the dog yes. that's Yes. Oh, the owners, yeah. So I think if the owner's a dickhead, the dog's going to be a dickhead. It's like if the parents are a dickhead of a kid, the kid's usually a dickhead because they get away with a lot more. Don't they? Yeah. Or they're treated badly. Yeah, I'd say so. But I think you're know, like dogs, they say are like their owners, don't they? Yeah. Completely so, agree. Going, going back to aliens. As a pet human, do you become like your alien owner? I think so. Like, I think it depends on the environment you're in. But like, if they have fun doing something, you usually have fun doing something, don't you? Yeah. Like, I'm sure parents don't like watching CBBC all day, but they get used to it. I don't know. The four o'clock club on there when it used to be on. Oh. I, don't, I just remember MI5. Or oh, no, am well, I high? Then, am I high? Dumping ground. Crazy? What, Tracy Beaker? I liked a bit Tracy Beaker. You you had a haircut for a few months, didn't you? I did, I did. I've rocked some dodgy haircuts, though. So. You've been going for them haircuts the last two years. You go through that Mate, whole haircut some... book. Mate, I've nailed a lot of haircuts. Yeah. I'm not sure which was worse. The one where I looked trans because of it being so bad where it was long and by my shoulders or the one where I had it just fully shaved off. Definitely the ones where you looked like you were uh, transforming into a lady. <laughs> like, well, with the shaved photo. head, I did look like the boy in the striped pyjamas. You did. You did. But I don't think there's any picture worse than you than that picture of you winning Defender of the Year for the hockey club. That, that was, was horrendous. A horrendous that photo. Was... And the worst thing is it's plastered everywhere. It is, it is. I'm never going to outlive that photo. I know that exists. In a newspaper as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh. It's horrendous, that picture. It's not nice. It's not a nice picture. And it's, it's not one I'm putting on the Tinder. I'll tell you that now. That's not one. <laughs> that was horrendous. And I didn't really wear my hair down very often. I don't know why I decided to wear it down that day. Yeah, that was a weird choice. You usually had a man bun, didn't you? I think it was yeah. still a bit wet as well. I do love the man bun. I think I'm going to go back to the man bun. I think that's where it's going. Yeah? Yeah, I think a top knot is going to come back. Fair. No, to be fair, if you do it like Gareth Bale, with the stride, the side shaved, it looks okay, doesn't it? It's just what is going it... on with Gareth Bale at Tottenham at the minute? He's just doing... I think his fitness is fully back, isn't it? Unless he has got another injury I that just, I don't know about. I don't think him and Mourinho get on. It must. He's got to be one of the biggest flops of the season for the money on him. I think it's just his mental state. Like, yeah, I don't think he can be bothered. No, like he's fit enough now, I'd say. I think he's back to his well, fitness. It's just not mental European fitness to actually want to be though. better. The European <laughs> matches and the cup matches, he's looking real good. He's just... I just think he's too settled. I don't think he wants... I think he... Well, he's, he's done everything you can do. Yeah, he believes in his own level. He doesn't think it's... Well, it's like he me at keep improving to get I better. You know, I'm the best. I don't need to improve. I feel yeah, like so he you're... thinks he might be similar. So you're like Ronaldo then. Ronaldo's always training and getting better and better and better. Whereas Bale, I just don't think... Uh, fuck bothered. training, mate. Fuck training. No, I don't right. want to stand with a load of sweaty blokes running around the field for a few hours and get. You know, I'll do my bit. You, you, des- you have to get certain hours in, but I'm not doing any longer. No, is Ronaldo an alien? Don't... Some could argue yes, because some of his achievements have been out of this world. <laughs> 
sorry. Sorry. You should be sorry. I do. Wait, that's a that's proper sincere. just a Viva. Is it too late now to be sorry? <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Yeah, no, I some just... of his achievements are ridiculous. He is like peak. See, that's the man. thing. If, if aliens exist, surely then they have to be at the top. Because if they are, they say, superior to humans, they've got to be every, they've got to be the famous people. They've got to be the world leaders because they're just, they're, they manipulate their way in. I think they just blend into normal day life. I don't think they'd want to get to that big step straight away and be caught out. Do you um, think your matey delivering like your dominoes could be an alien? 100%. Have you seen some of them? No. But yeah, here's one for you. Do you think aliens started COVID? Do you think that had anything to do with COVID? What? Do you think get the world down to a bad level so they can just sweep in and take everyone out? It's literally what I've heard. It's what I've, it's really great vine. People have said that aliens have started COVID-19 and it's got rid of millions of people. What, the Kung Flu? Yeah. <laughs> Just killing millions of people. I think it's a good little tactic. Get rid of the old people. But then again, if I was going to set a disease off that would kill people, intentionally, you'd target the young people, wouldn't you? No, I think maybe it's like a natural thinning. You know, there's been it. But the Ice Age was an example of a natural thinning. Yeah. If... If you were to make a disease to kill a certain race or age of people, what would you go for? I'm not going to turn around and say I'll kill all black people, am I? <laughs> That's not what I, I meant. It as in, like, I would kill. If you I mean was age thinking, demographic, do you mean? Yeah, I'd kill. I'd self a disease that kills all under tens. I think I would target a male or female demographic. Then you don't only slow down the progression in the future, do you? Well, that's if what you, I'm saying. If you, you if slow I, down the current, you, you wipe out a load of people and then you're also not going to reproduce as quickly. So the numbers aren't, the population is not going to shoot back up. Yeah. Because that's, that's a good point. Because with my tactic, it was just, if I get rid of like the 10 to 8 year olds all over the world, and then there'll be two years without people that age. And it would just yeah. fuck up everything. But then, yeah, if that happened, just old people would have to have sex again, wouldn't they? Like all, I don't think old plants, people... all the old little Dorises and stuff would have to get their panties. Well, no, on. because if you kill off all the old men, you've, not, you've done the opposite of China, you know? You're keeping, you're keeping the women about this time. Most of them aren't going to be fertile, I think. All the younger generation, not fertile yet. All the older one hit the menopause, not fertile. You don't want mothers in their 40s, you know, not ideal. So you've got a very small bracket there. That's what I've just, I thought this is great. If you're set up for disease, do one for infertility. People won't know they've got it. And then suddenly there'll be millions like of people. Like chlamydia, that, have... that can make women infertile. Exactly. Like, and then there's suddenly just be millions of people that can't have babies and people will just stop having babies. And then what that will just What are you calling your disease? Max Because I don't want people to be what afraid of it. shit name? I don't want people to be afraid of it because then if it's a name that's quite sharp with a V or a Z in it or something like that, it scares people. Whereas with Max Equilogy, I think that's quite a relaxing name. I think I'm going to steal a current black brand and make it ironic, like Babies Are Us. But you can't have babies. That's the joke. You know, I've got a brand name there. So you're not just taking away the babies, you're mocking them as well. Yeah. I think it could I work. Think, oh, I think so. Don't just break down their body, take away their spirit. <laughs> yeah. Put them in a mood when they don't even want to have sex, even if they could have babies. I do think... Uh, or do back... you make... Go on. What's it saying? Do you make it even worse? Do you make it so every man can't get it up? So you have to deal with the embarrassment of that as well as... No, you, would maybe... just, you would shame them into never trying. 
Yeah. Maybe you've yeah. already got this disease. <laughs> I think a lot of people could have that disease, yeah. And not even know they've got it. And then think it will adapt. You know, we're saying it's a virus, let's say. That always stays in your system, maybe. It's going to adapt. Yeah. Maybe yeah, your right. penis falls off. Yeah. Well, and then it'd just be like penises on the floor, like you're walking down the street and then it just drops off through your trousers and it just like lands on the pavement. Maybe it's like a penny, though. Pick a penis and all day you'll have good luck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I've done. If you had to lose a body part, then what are you losing? Nipples. Well, that's quite I big don't... if you're a female. But I'm not. I that's just don't think I, I don't think I need them. I don't think. Like, no. I don't know what they do for men, to be honest with you. But then you're never going to get a Calvin, Calvin Klein ad. No, I think people become accustomed to it. I think because uh, they always try and. Uh, be you're a trendsetter. Positive. Yeah, they're always body positive nowadays, aren't they? They always get brownie points for that. So I think... I think you're nippleless and you're plus-sized. Exactly. You're going to go far. I'd be a dream. I'll be in the front of Playboy in no time. Are you Max or are you David Beckham? I can't tell anymore. Yeah. I will be the new David B. Davy B. Davy B. Ugh. He's yeah. had some dodgy haircuts, I mean. He, he's like you. He goes through a lot of haircuts. I think you are trying to be just like David Beckham. Yeah. Although football is one of those sports I am shit at. You know, I, I say I naturally come to most sports. And football, I can play in goal. I'm good in goal. You ask me to use my feet, it's a fucking disaster. I'm not good with my feet. Yeah, I, I'm the same as you. Like, give me a racket all day long. Easy. Give me a bat, fine. Yeah, anything to do with like throwing or catching, sorted. Kicking, nah. To be fair, actually, no, I can kick a rugby ball through posts. I just can't dribble or anything like that. Just kills me off. Well, the movement does that for you because you're a fat cat. But <laughs> yeah, you're right, though. You're right. I don't know. God, then, if you make it a sport, aliens have come to the world. Are they invited to play your sport? You know, do they have their own league? Are they in? Into World Championship? Yeah. Imagine the ticket sales. Imagine putting that on Sky Sports box office. It would sell like I'm that. I'm thinking, this is what I don't understand. If everyone's equal in all of this, why aren't men, men and women playing the same football league? That's a good point. And that was a thing. The World Rugby Organization said that transgenders, women can't play women rugby. But can they play um, men's then? I don't. I don't think they could play any rugby. I'm fact check me here, but I don't think they could play any rugby. But I, uh, England rugby were like, we're not having that. Like transgender women can play transgender rugby. They can play women's rugby or whatever rugby they want to play. We're open and diverse, which I thought was fair play to England. Do England you gain an advantage that. from being? I think trans. so. I what, think so. How? If you if you've got the muscle development, I don't think like yeah, that. Yeah, because it hormone. is fat, isn't it? Males are stronger and quicker and things. Generally, if you <laughs> generally, but it's fact. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. If a if a man's not training for years on end and a woman is training, she's going to be loads better. Yeah, in terms of strength and things, but. <laughs> I think women can be better at men at most things. Uh, everything, really. Women, a woman can be better at a man, 100%. But I do think... Certainly relationships, I'll tell you. Aren't. No, I don't know. I don't know. I think it Have you been in a relationship where you wore the trousers? I'm going to say yes, but I know it's a lie. <laughs> you need it for your own ego. Yeah. I'd like to think yes. But I just don't think that's right. I think if I asked them, if you asked them as well, they'd say yes. Why? Uh, no, never. <laughs> never. 
Not once. No. Women are alien, that's fucking for sure, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to understand some of the things. I'm sure they must think the same about lads, like, surely. Oh, God, yeah. Some of the chats they must have it must be mental about us. Must God, imagine been... all the chats going on about you right now. What's like, this sexy motherfucker doing today? Like, even... People can talk about you whenever they want, can't they? My ears are always burning because, you know, I'm so, like, out there with people. I'm You're like people. Daredevil, super hearing. You can just hear everything. Exactly. Just everyone's just coming up. I can hear all, all the compliments I hear all the time. Negativity, I just blank out and just block out the haters and just go from there, really. If you're blind, yeah, go back to that and think of Daredevil. Do you think you get calluses on your fingers from reading Braille all the time? Do you think you like they get dry skin? Think you what is it? Blisters? That? No, like cal- you know where it gets like dead skin or like dry lump. If that makes sense. I think your body just gets used to it. Yeah. It's just... like if you have a bath every night, your skin doesn't wrinkle up as quick. Whereas if you have a bath once a month, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that. No, you're not. That's an experience talking. That's not a guess. Yeah, I don't get as wrinkly in the bath anymore because I'm loving a bath over this lockdown. It's all I'm doing Crikey. every night. Oh, yeah. right. Put a candle on, put a bit of Netflix on. Sorted. A Yankee candle on. Oof. I need the best. I need the best. This one Dan's got in here is sea salt and sandalwood. That's. That's oh my gosh, I can't remember the last time I had a bath. I used to love them at one point. You're having them like did, every night. I did love a bath at a point. Uh, that was your two-week obsession. <laughs> it was a, it was an obsession for a while, a bath. Yeah, I, I, I made a mistake. Think... Go on. I don't think you can beat a shower. I think a shower is you're in, you're out. You want longer, I will put it out there. I have a weird old habit. I like to sit down in the shower every now and then. Yeah, I don't get that. Why would you not I just... Think... Is your shower not in the bath? No, no. Got a nice big chair. Do you put a chair in it or? No, no, you just. I've got a nice big shower. So there's enough room where you can kind of angle which part of your body you want. You know, sometimes you just lob the feet under it and you sit at the back. And sometimes you sit with your whole. Oh, it's lovely. And it's like like just the constant droplets of water on you. It's a good way to cry, I guess, isn't it? Good way to get your tears out and no one notices. Well, I'm a crier, to be fair. I am a crier. Yeah, it's all right. Every man cries. How, how do you think aliens get washed then back to aliens? How, how are they getting washed? I think they wash themselves. I, like, I think they'll have like pores in them that just release water every so often. Uh, so they just squirt themselves clean. So you think they're like self-sustainable? You don't, they don't need anything to... They don't need water or anything? No, not at all. I think they just keep reproducing their own water and everything into their body. <laughs> Definitely. What if their pores get clogged? You know, everyone. My face looks like a dot to dot. You know, I'm used to pores getting clogged. What what happens when that happens? Uh, they just explode. <laughs> or <laughs> they just yeah, they just literally explode. That's my final answer. Just explosion arteries. Just heads blow off. Just their heads go. See you later. That's what I'm saying. Like a bomb's been put in it, it goes bang, it's out, they're done. That's, That's how it. aliens die. That is, and then on their dead. gravestone, it's like she've had her face wash or something. Yeah, should have gone for a checkup at the GP, should have exfoliated. Lesson learnt <laughs> skincare is important 100%. 100%. I don't feel like we're the best advocates for it, to be honest. But not at all, not at all. I, I do. I just don't. I, I don't think aliens can be real. I just don't think it. I. Here's one that I think is definitely an alien that we haven't covered. Michael Jordan. Some well, of the stuff Space he did Jam. Was out. Yeah. Ex- yeah. Exactly. That is where that idea came from. Him being an alien in the first place. Space Jam, 
Space Jam Maybe. 2 is coming out he soon. He invented the aliens. Yeah, with um, haven't they got it with LeBron James? Yeah, I think so. I think LeBron right. is leading the way. Who's better though, LeBron or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan all day long. I think LeBron James is a mixture of Scotty and Michael and a bit of Kobe in there. I think he's a superhuman. But at the minute, I think Michael Jordan is still the best in the world. Give it, give him a chance. Give James a chance. A few years, he'll be up there as he is one of the best in the world, for sure. But he will be the best in two years. The sportsman I'd be like most is Dennis Rodman because just fucking nuts, you know, nothing else. That's that's the best thing about him. And yeah, that's the best thing about you. You just don't know what you're going to do, what you're going to come out with. Like, you just do different shit each day. That's just so random. Yeah. It's fun on nights out, isn't it? it it's dangerous on nights out. It is very, especially in new cities to you, which is every city in the UK apart from Nottingham and Peterborough. It's a fucking nightmare. Absolute liberties. Taking you around, just don't know what you're going to do. Sometimes I distance myself from you and you don't even notice. I do need a carer sometimes on a night out. And not because I'm drunk. I'm just an arsehole. You attract a lot of gay people as well, don't you? I do. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. You know, 100% straight. I think, I don't, I don't know, have a clue why I attract gay people. I think you think I look gay? Maybe I, little... I don't know. Can you look gay? I think a little. But I also think you show a side of vulnerability. <laughs> that they it was my fault for what into. I was wearing. Literally, yeah. You just look very I deserve vulnerable. to be raped. <laughs> That's brilliant. No, I don't. I do attract a lot of gay people now I think about it. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could attract, you know, women every now and then, but something it's a target. impossible. It is a target. Nothing else I think it's for. because I look so posh as well when I go out sometimes. Yeah. I look like a little church boy, don't I? I wear a shirt some top oh, I wear a nice shirt, nice jumper over the top. Yeah, you do. And it look you do look Another very loafer. Smart. I am you a... like you were touched up by a priest when you were younger, to be fair. No, I wasn't raised Catholic. <laughs> Very yeah, often. I'm not. I anyway, I just need to stretch my leg. Pause the recording then. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so back to aliens. Are we thinking they have religions and things? Do they believe in stuff? I don't think so. What, I you think they just see science, they don't see any. Yeah, I 100% think that they're just scientists. They probably have people that worship, but they're probably just leaders like the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, that kind of thing. I don't think they'd have And any... Dennis Rodman. And Dennis, can't forget old Den Den. <laughs> but I don't think they'd actually have, they'd believe in any powers above the earth because they are the powers above the earth. Unless the aliens are God that come to... That's but what. then all gods must believe in something, or then I don't to be honest, I'm I'm a Christian if someone anyone, asks. <laughs> if anyone dies or I have to fill out a form. But I'm one of them people that kind of believe in it when I need it to be there. But I don't think it explains a lot of things. But that we don't want to go any deeper than that on religion because that's such a big That's subject. a whole podcast to itself. Oh, God, yeah, that's like seven hours worth. But I do think that aliens do not believe in religions. What about you? I think they must believe in something, because then what keeps you on the right path? I think you're brought up, even if you're not Christian or Muslim or any of this, you're brought up knowing right and wrong, which you've learned from those texts, because everyone has done some dabbling with religion, I think, here or there, even if they were just three or four years old. You're taught through the good and bad, aren't you, of it? Yeah. Oh, like I went to a Christian primary school. It wasn't like yeah. a church of England school like yours, but it was pretty, like everything we did was 
sing hymns, do prayers. But um, you learn, not even just that bit, you learn right and wrong through it sometimes. i tell you what, did you ever do a thing called Chris Dingle, where you yes. have the orange, you put four cocktail sticks in it with like some sweets and marshmallows. I wasn't allowed to hold the orange though, because I held the orange and we were doing all the singing in that, and I dropped the orange. Yeah. And because I was in the, this wooden bit almost, the chip, like it like started to set fire, but it didn't really, like the they got it quick enough where it didn't. But I was not, I had to sit in the teacher's <laughs> assistant, had to hold my orange the whole time. Brilliant. As I say, there's, I thought you were going to say you were the kid that set their own hair on fire because they always tell us that story and we never, no one ever knows who it, that kid is. But apparently, there is one. It's like the kid who always fell off their chair and cracked their head open. No one knows who they are, but it happens apparently. <laughs> But I remember getting in trouble with Chris Dingle because me and my mate Will, we always used to eat, we always had to walk to the church. The whole sweets and everything were gone on the way there. We didn't keep them going at all. We just ate them all on the way there, ate the orange on the way back. You've not stopped that philosophy throughout your life, have you? No. If it's inside, eat it. (laughs) Oh, it's the best way. There's no point (laughs) things going to waste. No, even if you're full, grab a spoon. What do you think? Back to aliens then. For the last point, what do they eat? What what are they eating? Can they digest human food? Can they could they eat our food or have they got their own shit? I think they'd eat living things. So like if they saw a rabbit going across the road, they'd just have a nibble. They'd they wouldn't have to cook it or anything like that. I think they could just eat grass and grass. animals uncooked. Yeah. That's what I think. Alright, I think that's enough bollocks for today. Cheers for that, mate. Alright, mate. See you later. Yeah, that's a good one.